The sprawling offensive by militants in Iraq has now reached the country's largest oil refinery, but it's unclear who has control over the strategic target. On Tuesday morning, the state-run Iraqi news agency said Iraqi security forces still control the Ba'iji oil refinery. The report also said Iraqi special forces had killed the militant leader who led the attacks against the refinery and goes by the name of Abu Qatada. But hours earlier, militant fighters believed to be from the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. ISIS seized the refinery, several Iraqi security sources told CNN. CNN cannot independently confirm either claim. The Ba'iji refinery in the northern Salahedin province is a crucial resource because it refines much of the fuel needed for domestic consumption. Long lines have already formed at many gas stations across the country. Farther north in Iraq, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry arrived in Erbil on Tuesday to discuss how Kurds can help the central government tackle security and political challenges. Erbil is the seat of the Kurdistan regional government. Iraqi Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki's Shiite-dominated government is accused of fostering sectarian tensions by marginalizing the country's Kurd and Sunni Arab minorities. Kerry met with Iraqi Kurdish President Masoud Barzani shortly after his arrival. We are facing a new reality and a new Iraq, Barzani said as the two men sat down. City after city has fallen out of government control and into the hands of ISIS which is trying to create an Islamic state across Sunni areas of Iraq and Syria.